Susan, we're along the street here where this killing happened just in the last hour or so. Friends of the victim have come here to bring flowers and candles. They're absolutely stunned by what happened here. I couldn't believe it how this happened and she had so many plans. Beatrice Garcia and friends say they're heartbroken over their fellow Uber driver and friend who was killed in a knife attack this week in National City. Family members confirm this is a photo of the victim identified by police as 58 year old Raquel Weber from Tijuana. She was found around 3 Tuesday afternoon on Lenoyton Avenue in her car with multiple stab wounds. Despite life saving efforts, Weber died at the scene. A very happy person. She will be there for you if you needed her. Her friends passing by that same spot on Thursday described her as very nice and a hard worker. Weber was clocked in for Uber at the time of her killing. Police say a juvenile female ran off and was found in a backyard with blood all over her. The girl is now at the San Diego Juvenile Detention Center facing a murder charge. The only thing I can say is I hope she gets tried like an adult. Uber released this statement. The senseless and brutal crime of Raquel Weber is heartbreaking and our thoughts are with her family. We stand ready to work with law enforcement on their investigation. It's still unclear if someone else was in the car at the time. Police say they're in the process of obtaining a search warrant for the Uber account used in this incident. A friends tell us the victim leaves behind a husband and two children and had just become a grandmother. Meanwhile, again, Uber confirming the victim was working at the time of the killing. Also adding to request a ride, you have to be 18 or older. So Uber says they have deactivated the account for the person who requested this ride. So far, no word on a motive. The suspect is expected to appear in juvenile court tomorrow.